Hi everyone, Shirtlight here. Now you might be thinking, another scripted Shirtlight video right after Crossbone Saga Part 1? Well, not necessarily. At least, not a proper full-length one. Though yes, I'm working on another Gundam vs Unit guide that should be done by next week. Anyways, today's video is about SD Gundam G Generation Portable, a game that's basically a soft reboot of the PS1 era G Generation games in sort of the same way World and Overworld are a spiritual successor to G-Generation spirits. Now there is a particular stage within Gundam Seed's story campaign, which can do some heavy damage to your in-game progress. You see, in stage 5, which is basically the Battle of Josh A, you know, the Alaska base and such, and the obvious deployment of the Cyclops system. The problem is, unlike in G-Generation World or some other entries, the win conditions for this level don't let you prematurely end the level by reaching a specific spot. This means that you have to either wipe out all of the enemy troops, which mind you spawn in over time and your ship's squads can only access the main map after a number of turns had passed, or basically have Mula Flaga, Kirito Jesus-kun and Captain Ramius all reach the safe zone and wait it out until the Cyclops system fires. Now the problem is that this is a map attack that instantly kills everything it touches including your ship teams, which proves very costly in a game like G-Gen Portable. Honestly, the reason I'm making this one is that it took a few of my units and I had to reload saves to get them back, so the least I could do would be to tell you what to look out for. Generally speaking, you should try to move your main ships, which start in the base interior, upwards, since that's where the exit gap opens up. Once you're able to, get everything into the ship and move it to the main map. Speaking of that one, you get the Archangel, two ships, some jets, and after four turns pass, Mula Flag appears, with Kirito's freedom coming in shortly after. The turn after Mu arrives, the countdown to the Cyclops system appears, lasting eight turns. About two turns later, you should have the exit gap unlocked, letting you flee to safety. Which you should, unless you like getting microwaved like a bag of popcorn on a movie night. During this turn, the Freedom Gundam shows up at last. The game's only way of letting you know whether you're in the safe zone is by having Mu, Kira and Remus saying they're in the safe zone. So since these guys get a head start when it comes to getting the hell out of there, you can use them as a bit of a measurement tool. Though the general area should be around 30 to 33 tiles from the waterfall. Ships can generally move the first, so as I said earlier, once the countdown starts, pick up everything and beeline it towards the shores on the bottom of the main map. You can score some kills along the way, but don't spread yourself out too much. This is a terrible level for grinding, though one could argue that lore accuracy is somewhat maintained. This is more or less a heads up, since from what I've played thus far, Seed Stage 5 is the only stage that does this. Also, one quick tip before I go. You can use the Spearhead fighter planes to wipe out the amphibious goons, which means that the Arkansas class ships that you get will be less beat up and could serve as decoys as you flee. Anyway, I'll see you on the next one. Shirtlaid, signing out.